If you follow me on TikTok, you might notice this location from one of my TikToks a little while ago. Maybe almost a year ago. You definitely notice where I'm at, but just making this video here because we are about to hit 10,000 miles on the Jixer. And I'm just wanting to do some spirited riding here. is a lot of fun with a new set of tires it would really feel great back here to do some spirited riding. Not sure if there's cops back here, so I'm kind of just trying to keep it a little tame. That felt a little scary. I know the rear tire in the back is, you know, it's just not the best. That's where I'm at. Behind the 500. There's not really many curvy roads out here, to be honest. But I wanted to talk about a couple things, kind of, um, for when you get a bike. Um, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people. I mean, you could take the classes and stuff, and they'll tell you, you know, the to get your endorsement or whatever, but there's some, they don't really tell you. Um, a lot of people are going to want to race you, and I notice mostly it's never sports cars. It's fucking economy cars, like little fucking Kias and shit, just little dumb shit, V6 Challengers and Chargers and shit. Just tell them to fuck off, honestly. I mean, when you have, like, I mean, for one... For one, you gotta think of who's trying to race you. Like, they don't even have a fast car. They're just trying to be reckless. So it's not even smart to really race with somebody like that anyway. Um, no idea what they're gonna do if they got control. And there's no point in racing a car like that anyway. If you got a 600, you know you're gonna beat them. So why even, I mean, you can, <laughs> you can, you can really get, you know, matched up with a lot of, you know, supercars when you're on, you know, super sport bikes, when you're 600 and up. So, there's no point in racing them to begin with. Um, the other thing is what I'm doing right here is checking the intersection. Even though my light is green, I want to make sure that there's nobody coming. Because just because my stuff's green and theirs is red, they're supposed to stop, doesn't mean that they're actually going to stop. The other thing is lane positioning. Okay, you're gonna wanna be, see how this little darker spot in the area is right here in the road and then it's kinda lighter and lighter? That's for a good reason. That's because for years, however long the road's been, that's where the tires have been from all the cars. So you want to ride in those positions of the lane for that reason. You're gonna have the most grip there, it's the most drove on part, right there. Also, when you come at a light and stuff, when you um, 
when you pull up to the car, you know, at their at their tail light, their quarter panel area, um, it's more safer for you if you need an escape route. On a super sport, it's really hard to maneuver the bike at low speed. So if I'm directly behind somebody and the guy behind me isn't gonna stop and I gotta throw it in first gear real quick and move over, it's gonna be harder. I have to swing it a lot harder, more aggressive, where I might just be too short on distance. But if I'm already at the corner of somebody, it'll be a lot easier uh, to go ahead and, and make that transition and account for the person not not uh, coming behind and, and, and stopping so that they can hit the car in front of me and not me. Because for me, it won't be good. Be sandwiched between two cars, that's probably one of the worst ways you can go out. Um, the last thing is braking distance. Um, they need to teach this in driver's ed and in the motorcycle classes, but um, you know, they do in the motorcycle classes. But they need to teach it in driver's ed. Everybody needs to know this. Bikes cannot stop at the same stopping distance as cars can. You need more space. And you absolutely cannot grab a fistful of brakes. You can hit the brakes on your car and you can skirt your tires and do all this crazy stuff, whatever. It's all good, honestly. Most time, it's all good. Most cars these days, I mean, you got ABS. It's, it's been standard for a while now. So on bikes, ABS has not been standard. Like ABS is kind of fairly a recent deal. There's still a lot of bikes on the road that don't have ABS, including mine. Um, so what ABS does on the motorcycles is, is that when you grab a fistful of brake, it keeps the bike up because if you don't have ABS and you grab a fistful of brake, you're actually just going to go down. It'll just top with you over to the left or to the right and it won't be good. You'll go down, you'll slide and you'll run into whatever it is you're hitting. It just won't be good. Um, so give yourself proper braking distance, allow yourself to slow down, tap your pedal, um, or tap your lever, whichever, and let people know behind you that you're stopping and you need some distance. But anytime you come up on a car at a stop sign, you want to be, you know, like if this car in front of me right here isn't giving me a lot of room, that's fine because I can switch my lane position. Okay, and now I've got more room and I've got this shoulder here for an escape route if this guy slams on his brakes. I've had people brake check me for no reason at all. So here he is, he tapped his brake, he's letting me know he's slowing down, but look, I can see around him. I can see the cars in front of him and know what he's doing. I'm not gonna look at this guy, I'm looking in front of him. Cause I wanna see, see the guy, yep, there's a guy that pulled out in front of him. So I know I need to stop a little bit sooner now cause I got one less car distance. And it helps to engine brake as much as you can. Save your pads. Don't be braking last minute going through pads. Go ahead and shit downshift. Engine brake. Three miles away from hitting 10,000. See, sometimes people give you space because they know. Sometimes people just think you're gonna pass too though, so it's kind of one of those things. Don't bite the bait if it's not safe. If you're not sure either, if somebody is allowing you to get room. positioning could be left could be right whichever one you want whichever one you have an escape route in I have a lane to my left and I have a lane to my right but shortly coming up here I won't have a lane to my right so I'll want to ride in the left because there's a chance that even if there is a car I got to swerve they'll stop but if I can't swerve to the right and you know the only thing I can hit is a curb well then I'm kind of screwed anyway so at least over here I got a chance Better thing to be would be is better thing to do would be is if I'm not turning, just be in the middle. That way I have an option for both lane positions to have an exit strategy. Do 
I think that the bike life is worth it. Well, depends where you live. Definitely don't want to ride a super sport every day of the year, especially if it's snowing. I mean, I, that's a death wish. You barely want to do it when it's raining, especially depending on which tires you have. I would say the time that I had bikes was probably the best time of my life. I was able to make a lot of friends. Everybody was cool. Went on trips regularly for cheap because, you know, the price of gas, you know, is, yeah, I mean, it's high, but when you only got to fill up three, four gallons, you know, it's really not that much. It's pretty cost effective at that point. The only thing that's not practical is if it rains or whatever. There's a lot of stuff you gotta watch out for. Debris on the road, things like that. We're one mile away from 10K. Um, you gotta watch out for debris in the road. Things like that. But, and, and people obviously, people not paying attention. Stupid people. But it's nice. In Florida here, we don't have to have insurance, so if you own the bike outright, no insurance and no payment, nothing, just gas every time I want to go out and have a good time, so that's what I do, just fill it up, have a good time, go out with friends, it can be dangerous, but that's why I wear gear, if you're not wearing gear, then yeah, it's just stupid, don't, don't get a bike if you're not going to wear any gear. Bikes are awesome. And it really don't matter what you ride. Everybody's pretty welcoming. Obviously a pack of thousands is not gonna wanna ride with a with a Grom. But and it's not safe to either. You need to be able to keep up with the pack, whatever you're riding with. As far as like, do bikes get you girls? Nah, not really. If they do look, if I see them looking, they're in their car and I'm not gonna shoot my shot at them. Like I'm not desperate. If I was a shooter, maybe, but I don't really shoot that much. Girls don't really shoot. I've had it happen maybe a couple times. They're definitely drunk. But sober girls won't really throw themselves at you. So if you're trying to get a bike for some girls, there ain't no girls, you're gonna be getting a bunch of dudes. So if you're, oh, 10,000, there we go. So if you're about that homosexual life, then go for it. You're plenty of dudes, but you're not really gonna get no girls. And honestly, riding with passengers is not that fun anyway. It's kind of miserable. random shit in the road. It's fun. And that's that stuff I'd be talking about. It's just shit you gotta look out for. It's like fat potholes like right in front of me and shit. And just be random shit in the road and they don't really clean the roads around here. Even if they're doing construction they still don't even they don't really worry about cleaning that shit till after they're done so Especially construction zones, watch out, stay alert, understand your surroundings, where you're at, the terrain you're in. Especially if it's construction, it's probably new traffic patterns too, so people are probably confused, not paying attention on their phone, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Had it all happen. I've had it all happen. But the key to it is just being prepared. If you can't stay focused, if you out here trying to look cool, you ain't really focused on the road. You got the wind flowing and you just trying to have a good time and show off to people. Don't get a bike. Pay attention. Go somewhere with a purpose. Don't sit in people's blind spots. Things like that. 
don't put yourself in a bad situation always have an escape route like right here this is a wide open lane even though it's oncoming if the dude behind me don't stop that's all right i'm just going oncoming real quick it's fine or stop they be coming in pretty slow anyway so they'll have time to react shit somebody dog all up in the row random shit just absolute random shit if you grew up with hoes and use up toes Hey, 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 we, we can't be doing all that, bruh. That's, that's a hell no. I'm sorry. Nah, we, we not doing that. Fucking, now you want to move? Okay. Yeah, we, we can't be doing that to bikers. side of the road. like this <laughs> with the damage <laughs> it'd be cars like that trying to race you And them people just want to be like, oh man, I raced a bike, I beat a bike. I'm sorry, but we're not trying. There is no race. A race has got to be fair. I'm sorry, but racing a Nissan Altima is stupid. And look at you, stopped in the middle of the road. <laughs> just stupid. Here, okay traffic in this left lane right here could be backed up and because somebody on the other side is trying to make a turn so are you really gonna sit here and just go straight without caution even though because that person can't see you until they actually probably really get into your lane so why would you go flying by I've seen plenty of accidents like that like bruh that's stupid like take caution you see people stop take caution you're on a bike it's your, it's your life we're talking about even if you think you have the right of way you still gotta take caution don't matter because it's better to be standing up at the end of it than it is to be just oh ha, ha i'm right you can cuss the dude out do whatever you need to do if you live through it but don't end up on the ground severely hurt paralyzed or dead because you felt like oh i had the right of way and i didn't really have to pay attention even this dude like what the fuck 
like I just pull out in front of me. Like, why me? <laughs> People love to do that stuff to bikes. They have no perception of bike speed. That's really frustrating. People love to just pull out in front of you. It'd be a car way behind you in the other lane. They could pull out in that lane, but they love to pull out in front of you. I don't get it. Never have, never will. But, oh well, anticipate it.